What is going on guys? It is Kevin from KJ3 Computers and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. I haven't been doing tutorials in a while since a lot of, uh, you know, work and family things have been going on and I've been trying to do a lot of gaming videos and so, you know, try to keep with the times but, you know, I can only do so much with the setup I have currently. But in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair your PS4 controller via Bluetooth to your computer. The download link is going to be in the description down below, but what you're going to need is just your PS4 controller. You can do this via, you know, the USB cable, but I imagine, like everybody else, you're going to want to do it wirelessly through Bluetooth. Your computer needs Bluetooth. You can go to Amazon.com if your computer doesn't have built-in Bluetooth to get a little dongle for it, a little USB adapter. They're dirt cheap on Amazon, and they're super effective, and they work really well. But being that my all-in-one has built-in Bluetooth, you know, kills two birds with one stone. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to download DS4 tool. I already have it downloaded here. And then uh, once you extract it, DS4 Windows, I uh, go ahead and click DS4 Windows, the application. And being that I've already ran this, it brings up how to, a, uh, how to pair. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that up right here. You can, you can, like I said, do this with the USB cable, but to do it with the Bluetooth setting, you know. But the first thing you're going to do is hit step one, install the DS4 driver. It's going to download it and then install. It might give me a couple errors since it's already installed on my computer, but then again, you know, just keeping the drivers updated, you know. All right, after that, it's going to say install complete. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to your Bluetooth settings. And then once you have it right here, and then you're going to take your PS4 controller that is off and unplugged. You're going to hold the PS button and share. You're going to hold them both down at the same time. And then until the light at the top begins flashing. All right, should flash like one or two times. And then as you see here, wireless controller ready to pair. And then you hit pair. And then it's going to use the drivers from DS4 Windows that it installed to use for the controller might take about a minute or two to install so you know just give that a minute I don't know if it's just my controller but my controller is flashing red alrighty it says we're connected here so I'm gonna go ahead and close out and close out of the welcome to DS4 windows and go over to the controllers tab and as you can see it's ready to rock we are fully connected and a cool little trick about this is that this little white box over here if you click that and hit use custom color it actually changes the color of the light on the PS4 so now that I have green my controller is now you know the light on my controller is now green and then you can to turn off the light you just go completely you know bottom left hand corner black and it turns off the light so being that my battery is only at 60 percent I'm just gonna keep it at uh, you know black so we're just gonna go from there and by the way I know you like my background I know you love my background anyway and now what you can do is you can go into EPSXE and map out the buttons and then it's as simple as that and then you're off and ready to rock. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be doing more tutorial videos hopefully on some PS4 to PC things and more EPSXE videos which I love doing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to tune into the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and fund my channel via fan funding. It would be greatly appreciated, you know. Every donation, even if it's a dollar, will not go unnoticed. So we'll catch you guys in the next video.